Hello everyone, and welcome to the show, or back to the show, or whatever. Yeah, it's been a while since my last upload, but in my defense, I've been, you know, busy mainly with, with my, uh, job. So, alright, I have a legitimate excuse for being, you know, slow in my video uptake, instead of my, uh, usual chronic procrastination and putting stuff off and laziness, now I have a job to compound on top of the procrastination and lazy whatever, although I, I'm, I'm still working on it, I, but yeah. anyway, um, <clears throat> back to the thing that I'm talking about, the longest afternoon, the uh, story is actually like the 300, shockingly based, is based on a true story, but unlike that story, where it's about as accurate as a Vogon marksman, this time, this guy actually does try and, you know, go for an accurate approach instead of just overly stylizing the crap out of everything, and, uh, yeah. <clears throat> the, uh, but, uh, anyway, the story itself is that it is about the, um, the Battle of Waterloo, and these 400 soldiers that are trying to hold this particular farmhouse, which is, uh, of, of a particular, uh, strategic importance, to prevent a Napoleon from being able to get told it and then being able to have a, a place that he can just like do whatever, I guess. <clears throat> you'd, you'd have to look more into it. But anyway, um, the whole thing is like them having to, you know, hold this place against like wave after wave of French soldiers. And, um, and you know, it's actually kind of interesting. I wonder how, like, you know, um, how like how it would have turned out if say Napoleon had won the, this battle, or um, you know like whether or not he would have been able to like get you know back you know in charge of France again, and you know especially since he'd already learned all of the lessons from before, you know like not invading Russian winter and stuff like that. And I wonder like what would have happened, but yeah, it probably would have wound up. You know, but but in either way, you know, it's still an interesting, you know, um, thing, and uh, the whole uh, de detail with like these uh, German soldiers that were fighting against the French, and like, it'd get into great detail on like, you know, how they would live, and <clears throat> or and in how, um, you know, they would, um, or like how some of them, how they were um, trying to think of like a way that they can get the heck out of there without looking like cowards. You know, which inevitably they, they did want to have to retreat because of like really low ammunition stores. They're like they're almost running out, and uh, <clears throat> but yeah, it was uh, very interesting, and um, <clears throat> it's just um, it's just really neat, and how level all the level on the level of uh, details that they would uh, put in, like um, like how. Um, it's like how many soldiers were in each area, you know, some were in the house, some were in the barn, some were like forming a little square, dealy square formation to like fight it off the, <clears throat> and, um, and yeah, it's just, uh, uh, an interesting read, you know, a good, uh, you know, story, especially since it's a true story, you know. It's actually really interesting. Overall, my personal comfort level recommendation rating it is for a five out of five. Definitely recommended. You know, it's like a bunch of fun historical stuff. You know, a, a, a good interesting story that I haven't heard about. Or and um, yeah, you know, check check it out and. Um, Maybe it might get you interested in more history, and um, <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, um, that's all I'd say. Um, next time we're going to be talking about science fiction again, with the sequel to a classic miniseries that was made a while back. Yeah. <clears throat> Until then, see you later. Keep yourselves awesome. Check out uh, and supporting your local libraries with your or in bookstores with your patronage, money, donations, whatever, and have a nice day.